season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? You're the new Canaanite who's supposed to help lead these people, not hide from them. I know, you're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there any way, other way I can help the Sorrows? If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plans... Um... You mentioned healing powder. I have some if you're still interested. Take all I have. Your generosity is. Yeah. Um. What do you know about the father in the caves? Father in the. Oh, right. He's some spirit the sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Oh, you might want to have a chat with them. They think your lord and the, th and the father oh. are the same. Oh, of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Um... What do you do here? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path. They're Mormons. Uh, you said you used to help the Sorrows with problems. What do you do now? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Has this happened before? Okay, the White Legs are, already, are here already, so what's your plan? To remove the Sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. Has this happened before? The White Legs attacking other tribes? Yes. But not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors. Slavers. Anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the Tar Walkers. And the Crazy Horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them. But they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. Let's talk about something else. Oh. Why are you so eager to evacuate Zion? You don't seem to be a pacifist. There's an old saying that goes, If you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the Sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the Sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I do. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. You're right to leave, but I don't think you should kill any of the white legs. Uh, that's an awful lot of responsibility to take on. If you're willing to defend the Sorrows, why not pursue the white legs? Uh... Yeah. There is an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Even a Gentile like you should know that. Joshua's a new Canaanite, and he's obviously willing to attack the White Legs. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. When you look at him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. A 
As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. Joshua wants to fight because the White Legs have stoked the naked flame inside of him. You, you see the light, but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will. But it isn't up to me, and it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. <clears throat> I checked on everything in the valley and got you the map of Grand Staircase. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs, despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Um, I need to think about this. Even our Lord had doubts. Think it over, but listen to your heart. And do it quickly. We don't have much time. Mm-hmm. Waking Cloud. Um, about your husband. I'm afraid he was killed by White Legs during the evacuation. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. I'm afraid so. Daniel kept it from you because he thought the grief would distract you. <gasps> How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. Um, he was only doing what he thought was best for the tribe. It wasn't an easy choice for him. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. Blam. Never mind. Okay. So now, White Bird's Cave. And now we get to kill a bear on drugs. Well, first we have to get the drugs, but then we can kill the bear. Okay, where's the shaman? Okay. Hola, outsider. Welcome, child of omen. You come to receive visions of truth? What? I don't know what visions of truth means. Take drugs, kill a bear, <laughs> seek medicine plant, return with sacred datura root, receive visions of truth, they guide you. I've already got the root you need. These roots made sacred vision tea. You drink, you see path before you. Ready? All right, let's do this. Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. You see? You go to cave. Find ghost of she. Lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. Yep. Hold on a second. Let me just look at our status here. First of all. Oh. Spiritual power. AP minus 10. Strength plus 1. And we are on heavy drugs. And you're gonna see in like three seconds what I mean. Just, uh. Okay, we gotta go there. Yes. You're, you're gonna see. Get ready to see the ghost of she. Because we are on some heavy goddamn drugs. And let me just save. Because, get ready. This is insane. Yeah. There's like everything here. I need help. I need healing powder. Hold on a second, let me just get out a good weapon here. Uh yeah, that would do. Ow. No. Mmm. Yeah, this is hard. See, the last time I came here, there wasn't a giant Cazador to punch me in the face. You know? So, let's try this again. You leave or... me no okay. Now there isn't a bunch of enemies, so good. Now watch. Here we go. Choice. 
So, this is the ghost of She's Lair. I was never brave enough. Here we go. It's a giant bear on fire. Killed a giant bear that's on fire. How cool is that? You feel like a badass yet? Especially how we just literally took drugs and just killed a bear. Literally. And now we get the ghost of she. Or she's embrace whatever. I don't know. Something like that. Hi there. Does Ghost of She like quiet and grave? You're good at talking with a donut in your mouth. It's done. Then visions of truth are at an end. And we leveled up. Learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Here, take. Gift to remind you of visions. Use well. Or sell to cure your traitor. Either way, says much about you. Lol. And what did we want to get for the next one? I forget. Which one did I want to do? We really need to complete this DLC though. Okay. Um, there we go. Superior mind. Well then. We killed a bear. On drugs. What next is there to do? Um, Bighorners of the Eastern Virgin. Find a way up the cliffs. Not a hard one. And after that, we're going to return to the Dead Horse Camp, just in case, to see if we can find anything else to do. Oh, we're already at the Dead Horse Camp. Hey, follows Good Chalk. Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. Um, tell me about the... Okay, what's, the, what, uh, what's with this obsession you seem to have with civilization? Let me tell you a story. When I was a boy... A man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people, who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. I know that guy. I got him a job. A job as a singer? Then it really is true. What does Joshua think of this? I, um, I haven't told him yet. Never had the growins. Lol. Really, maybe I could talk to him about it for you. Be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. It sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. Okay, I want to know more about you. Never mind. Nothing else. Talk to you later. Okay. Here, um, go back to your people's camp, Daniel please. Daniel was firm about my staying with you. Uh, yes, I'm sure. If that is your wish. I got what? Okay. I don't know why she gave me that stuff. Oh Jesus, she's crippled. Dude. Dude. What can I tell you? Can I have Oh, I have to talk to 
Joshua, about him following me. And he's not here. Well, isn't that great? Alright, Joshua. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Seriously? Where is this guy? Motherfucker, where is he? Zion Valley Welcome Booth. Oh my fucking god. You gotta be kidding me. Well, he's not here, that's for one. That's for one thing. So we know that. Can I crash on one of your beds tonight if you have one that's available? Yeah, I'm just gonna do this anyways. Maybe he'll show up. Whoa. What did we do last night? Oh god. Oh god. Wait. Where the... Mm, where's Joshua? Hold on a second. Let's see this. This is weird. Where the hell? Where is he? Oh my god. Okay. So nowhere to be found. Well, we gotta go this way, so, great. And I can't kill any big horners. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I have never done this quest, so let me tell you, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Hi, dear. I uh, just want to say hi. Big Horner mother. Oh, is that the calf? No, that can't be the calf. Are you the lost big horn of calf? No. Oh, shit. Okay, I got the banana yucca. Just in case. Oh, she must be down here. Okay, I see. I see. Little calf. Oh, poor little calf. Hi, dear. Feed the banana yucca. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, good, good girl. Good calf. Oh, good calf. Oh, I like these kinds of quests. They, they make you feel all gushy inside. Because you interacting with your little calf. Oh. And here she comes and she's all like, What? Oh, it's big. Oh, he's so cute. Is she following me? Maybe. Probably not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think 
she's following me. Oh, crap. Oh, she needs another banana yucca. Oh shit, don't run off the cliff. Okay, okay. Yeah, good girl. Oh shit. Why is everything green? Come on. Give me a girl. Come on. Oh. Come on. Here it comes. Here it comes. Are you coming? Oh, you're stuck. Here, let me help you. Oh, there you go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I didn't even need to do all of it, so. Oof. Now, what I want to know. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna. Just go over here. I'm just gonna save. Alright. Oh, wow. Like a boss. What can I tell you? Dude, I returned the big the calf to its mother and didn't even kill any of the bighorners. Glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. Go. Yeah. War club added. Wow, you gave me a lot of good shit. Yeah, where's where is uh, Joshua Graham? He's at the Sorrows Camp, of course. How could I be so stupid? Ay ay ay! I'm so stupid, my game will crash. <laughs>